Hi, Tech Rob here again. Um, just thought we'd go through a few details of the um, PC build regarding the um, software. So we'll have a look at the BIOS upgrade procedure and then um, we'll go through the different um, components uh, and their related drivers. Okay, so updating the BIOS. This is just rebooted F2 or ask into the BIOS. And, um, then we have to go to the advanced mode, um, the tool menu, and then also see to flash utility. And here I can select how to. Um, update the BIOS either through the internet or with storage. I usually go for the internet option. And so next, here the internet connector enabled the network where the BIOS and reboot system configuration. Continue. with the networking enabled on the BIOS level. Again. And then what kind of uh, IP address assignment you're using, mostly everybody uses DHCP. So next. And it says that there is an available one which is kind of cool since I updated it also when I installed the computer. <laughs> and just run it goes, so now it goes and gets the latest files over the internet and um, yeah, we'll install it. This could take a while. So. I wonder if we should just record it. Ah, I think we come back after it's done. It takes quite a while. And now it's nearly done. Okay, um, just to restart it. Oh, no, I should do it all the map. Now we're restarting to the operating system. No, oh, wait, it's going to want us to run setup of the BIOS. This is a, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose as expected. Okay, I'll do that then. I actually don't have very many settings, so the only setting I'm using for now is just to convert this to how it was this Asus Optimal.
Windows. <coughs> Windows. So nothing really amazing about that. But anyway, that's the way you update the BIOS. Another uh, board homepage for the um, and all the so where you can select all the drivers. So that's the only thing you need to do is to. Uh, in my case, our Windows 10, so let's just select the OS. So, um, what you should get from here is that um, the um, BIOS you don't need because that's, um, yeah, we went through that already. The audio you don't need because we have a separate audio cord. You can take it, it doesn't really hurt anything. You know, good to take the LAN stuff. utilities and chipset you don't need the sort of stuff and the qualified vendor list you don't believe it so that pretty much covers the um, stuff you need for the motherboard so not that complicated and then we have um, for the graphics card basically we already installed the um, Nvidia experience so, but it would be good to um, get this one which is the um, uh, Asus GPU Tweak 2 as it says and, and with this software you can actually uh, adjust the uh, you can adjust the performance profile of the graphics card so that's actually quite good to have and it's quite easy to use so you need to go too much into the details and then we have the uh, sound card uh, installed. So here we got the um, driver packs again. So, so we go to the operating system you have. And um, it's actually interesting because this is actually, even if it's a physical sound card you insert into the PCI bus. It, uh, it actually turns off like a USB um, device. So it has a better USB driver here. And then the actual driver package for the sound card itself. And then you can get to the, when you install this, then you get the SPDF, better control for the SPDF stuff. And, yeah. So that's kind of recommended. And, um, Then it's the um, fan RGB control, which is here. And then you have to scroll down, and then you have um, downloads, and then you can just pick up this. <laughs> I mean, the software is called CAM, and I mean, it's a little bit sort of confusing. Well, anyway, you, you, you download the install that, then this also requires that you register yourself if you want the to actually have the full functionality. There's also one thing that this software updates the firmware on the the RGB controller box. And the way the only way to cycle the power on that is to pull the uh, to shut down the computer and pull the power cord out because that box is getting continuously powered even if you shut the um, computer down. So remember to like remove the power cord for like a minute and, and, and then put it back up and then you get the you get the uh, RGB controller box reset with the new firmware. Because in my case when it installed the firmware it didn't it didn't reset it. So I actually had to do that um, recycling. But anyway this um, I wonder if there will be anything to mention the um, I mean the motherboard's just BIOS and drivers, so nothing there. The graphics card tweak utility is very simplistic to use, so I have nothing really to comment there. The sound card is more like if you want to control the environment and the SPDF. Um, uh, Cox, ah, the fiber optic output. Uh, and then the NZXT XT is also, it actually com combines RGB with being able to do monitoring functionality. But it's also kind of self-explanatory in, in the way you use it. Yeah, but anyway, I thought that was a good summary.
If anybody found this interesting, consider subscribing. You know, hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. And um, yeah, well, see you in the next one.